they were playing Thanatos and we're also doing 3v3 knockout, I said what better way to start the day than going out and playing the best knockout king in Divine Knockout, Thanatos himself. As you can see, I'm rocking that golden skin, which is currently the best Thanatos skin in the game. So my whole gimmick, this whole video is going to be I'm looking for opportunities to strike and knock people out. I do not want to get eliminated. I mean, I could try to do the immortal challenge because it's the easiest done when you're playing Thanatos. However, that's not the real main goal. I just, I'm just feeling to knock people out and not put too much effort into it, if you know what I mean. Because Thanatos is just that strong, and I think that should give me my first knockout, and it does right there, giving my team one point. However, my vulnerability is kind of high, and it's getting close to purple range right now, so I need to be careful. Okay, so I'm in a bad position, so I'm going to use this. I keep going around it like a little log in water, and as you can see, it helped me survive as well as ensure nobody came to me. I may be able to knock out the Athena. No. Athena's just too tough and sturdy for me to do anything right now. So I'm collecting this health orb. Ooh, I'm in a bad position, but I do have my mobility. I may have to use it just to get some distance. And as you can see, as I'm playing Thanatos, just like if you're playing in 1v1 or 2v2, your goal really is not to use your mobility to come back in unless you really see an opportunity. You're just using it to hover above the sky because if you come back in, that's wasted vulnerability added to you. Ooh, that would have been a nice secondary knockout for me right there on the Susano. However... He got hit with the Athena ultimate, so you kind of bounced around like a ping pong ball. That was actually my bad. I should not have walked into Loki's ultimate like that. And you know, I've noticed a lot of Lokis lately are not instantly erupting their ultimate. They're waiting and letting the timer run out just a bit and then erupting it, which is pretty funny because that's not how it was early on when Loki was released. I might be able to hit the Susano here, but I need to be careful. Yes, I was expecting the Athena ultimate because I'm very high on vulnerability right now. Ooh, this may be it right here. I might get knocked out. Oh, I actually survived. And the main reason I survived there is simply because I did not hit those metal spikes. If Susano had hit me into those metal spikes that were spinning, that was it. That was GG right there. I would have been knocked out. Okay, so I'm on 163. Thankfully, they're knocking me in directions that I have enough distance to cover where I don't get fully knocked out. Now, if I'm over 200% vulnerability, it doesn't matter. I'm going to get knocked out either way. I'm going to use my scythe here since I see both of them really wanted me there. In purple range right now, I do have my ultimate. Going to use it going straight through that updraft by the Susano. Catching him and this should be an elimination. Reducing my vulnerability just a little bit. I'm realizing I'm not getting healing from people being knocked out. I don't know if they patched that or maybe I removed it from my talents. I don't really remember. This may be another knockout right here. We just need one more. And I need to survive. And look at that. Our ally Athena knocks out the Loki, giving us that eight point victory right there. And we finally have one point to our team. I'm excited for this. I wonder what maps are going to come on next. And we see here, I'm going to go for Spirit Shrine. Mainly because when you're playing Thanatos, one of the things with Thanatos that you need to know is you want space to roam. As you can see, that's why I did a lot better in that match. I had a lot of space to roam and it also kept me alive if I'm making mistakes. So Spirit Shrine it is. We get picked up on the ghost himself. And as you can see there, Umi trying to scare us with his little dribble drop right there. I love it. All right. So in this matchup here, my goal is the same. I'm going to look for opportunities and try to knock people out. Ooh, Susano came straight for me. Taking to the sky immediately. I actually tried to do that air light a little too high, which is why I didn't connect. Nobody got hit with my interrupt, so no healing for me. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. I just got interrupted. I'm not judging the range of Thanatos perfectly right now. I may be able to get him into aerial attack. Yes, perfect knocking him back just enough. Oh, and I get interrupted again. I'm not using the range to my full advantage. As you can see, another miss. And that was one of the tips I gave in my tip video. Playing the character often. Okay, maybe I can hit him back here. Perfect. So Susano, is the wave going to catch him right there? Is it going to drop him? Okay, perfect. Coming in here, going in with the heavy attack, and it does eliminate him. But also, Izanami gets eliminated by the Loki. Now, I haven't played Thanatos in probably, I don't know, I would say two weeks. Mainly because I've been playing a lot of other characters, especially Amaterasu and Izanami right now. Oh, Susano, I wasn't moving my camera around. That's another thing. You know, actually, that should have been part of my tip video. Using your camera accurately so you can keep a visual on your surround. Is the wave going to catch him again? That'd be pretty funny. And it does. That is actually hilarious. If I had a spike, I probably would have been able to spike him out. I used that ability too early, which is why I didn't catch up. Now, I collected the health orb. Honestly, I just realized that Athena actually needed it more than me. But, you know what? I'm going to try to catch somebody in my ultimate just now, just so I can heal up extra about going to use it right here who's it going to be loki yeah i'm catching loki and watch my vulnerability go straight down it oh, okay i thought it was going to go to zero but 50 percent is still good oh man that would have been a sweet clip right there going in with the reversal on the susano loki saves his two buddies from being knocked back further coming in with the sight and it does hit the athena but the resistance is very high and that heavy is oh 
Did you see that spear come off right after I did that heavy? The ally Athena really wanted to eliminate the Susana. That should be the Athena right there, giving us another point. We're actually not too far apart. Okay, now we just got a double kill. Can I get the Loki here too? Oh, the wave comes and stuns him. Is he going to fall? Oh, he falls. He lands on the edge of the map. I love it when I get people to fall straight in the water. I mean, it happens to me very often. We need two more points. They're struggling a little bit, but it's okay. Coming in here with some aerial attacks, dodging back, and I actually collected the speed boost. So I'm right now speed demon Thanatos right now, and it's pretty nice. Oh, perfect. I actually was not sure if my ultimate would have made it straight through Susano's ultimate ability. I thought he was going to collect me there. I mean, it wouldn't have knocked me out, but it was actually a pretty cool move that I made it straight to the end, and I collected the Athena. We just need to... Oh, no, no, no. Don't mess up here. Oh, the fear comes in clutch. Thank you so much, Izanami, right there. That Susano did a perfect dodge on that heavy attack coming in with that because I realized my vulnerability is kind of low and we just need to knock out what I'm looking for that Susano and he dodges back that was so nice but he couldn't dodge the scythe and gets eliminated it works out in our favor giving us the round two now I don't ever underestimate the enemy team it could be possible that they come back and switch their game around and somehow come back with a three win streak you never know it's happened to me multiple times especially in arcade mode that's why I'm hoping when the next patch comes out they revert 3v3 knockout all the way back to 3v3 arcade mode as being the permanent mode and leave 3v3 knockout forever on a limited time event. It just adds so much flavor. And I know so many players that actually would play the game right now, even though it's not in an updated state, if 3v3 arcade mode was in the game. Because I've been getting a lot of messages on Discord simply asking for 3v3 arcade mode, all because they like to chill after work with their friends. Okay, so I'm already getting handled by all of them. I felt like I got seriously attacked right there. I don't blame them. I've been knocking people out left, right, and center. And actually, my allies have been doing a fantastic job because even though I'm playing like this with Thanatos, I don't know if I could 1v3 with him. The fact that my allies are being able to stay alive and survive the rounds while they're taking on the opponents, giving me the opportunity to play Thanatos like this is amazing. And I appreciate each and every one of you, as well as my opponents, for giving us a very nice round right here. Ooh, that Loki's in purple range. I wonder if I could turn our get him. Okay, sight. Oh, perfect. He hits me out. Very nice counter on his part. I don't know why I said perfect there. That didn't actually add up. But I got the elimination on him eventually. Looking that Athena's right there. Going to charge up my scythe right here. Boom. But he's got resistance. Which kept him alive into the aerial attack. No. Oh, that boulder came out of nowhere. I should have been turning my cameras. Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. This is oh, Okay. I thankfully was able to dodge it just on the end there. But that was a really bad move on my part. As you see, I got eliminated. So now I no longer qualify for the Immortal Challenge. And if you want to know what the Immortal Challenge is, all you have to do is check out my video on it. It's pretty simple. Allowing yourself to play any 3v3 mode and you're not going to be able to be knocked out once and you need to win the game. It, it's a lot altogether. Now, look at that. That Loki came out of stealth and is targeting me again. Very smart. Now, I will be honest with you. I... I, I died, so I'm like, okay, whatever. Now I'm just going to go super hard and aggressive. I don't have to worry about the mortal challenge anymore. Going to collect this. Hell oh, no. Okay, the Izanami collected it. That's okay. The Loki's in a pretty bad spot. He's over 100% vulnerability. He drops his ultimate. Okay, does he eject anybody? Doesn't seem like it. I keep trying to get this Loki with my air heavy, but it doesn't work. And the Izanami comes in the background and goes, yeet, and knocks him out. I should make a whole video compilation of just yeets. That would be hilarious. By the way, if you would like to get your games shoutcasted by me, all you have to do is message me on Discord and we'll find a way to get those videos to me where I'll get a chance to feature it on my channel. It also helps me work on my commentary skills, which if you know is my main gimmick for this channel and it's the one thing I love, which is why it's one of my main hobbies right here. But let's get back to the game right here. We need three more points. They need a total of five. Who's going to come out on top? Ooh. That Susano just got eliminated by the Izanami, and I'm coming in here with a nice slice and dice. Oh, okay, ultimate right there. Gonna walk back, take into the sky, because I'm over 142% vulnerability, and I get the Loki. I actually wasn't sure if that would have worked. It was looking like it might, and it did. All right, so I'm gonna be a little careful and just kite around a little bit. The boulder comes in, and it's the Athena knocking him back just enough. All right, so it seems like they're aiming for me, and I don't blame them. I'm over 100% vulnerability right now. I do get a little bit of healing, but I'm going to dodge through walking. Nope, okay, coming in with the scythe, and it hits one of them, dodging just to avoid that Loki, because I felt like he was going to hit me in the back and backstab me. So they're all three headed for me. I'm just going to keep kiting around. I have my mobility, and as you can see, I took to this guy, allowing my allies to do some damage on them. And even if my allies get knocked out, we're pretty fine right now. Coming in with the scythe, and it's somehow it missed. But I do have my ultimate ability. Gonna hop on, see if I can catch them right here. And this should be game over. The Athena's gonna be the knockout victory for me. It would have been nice if... Oh! 
No, no, no. Our ally Athena gets the point, knocking out the Susano. That was great. GG.